Welcome to Piano with Danielle. In this series of videos, I will be explaining about all elements of musical theory. I will be following the Associated Board of the Royal Schools of Music's graded music theory and practice workbooks, but these are just a guide and these videos can be used for general theory questions. In this session, I'm going to be talking about notes on the stave. Before we look at the notes themselves, let's look at the stave. As you can see, it is made up of five lines. We say this is the first line, this is the second line, this is the third line, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. The notes themselves can sit either above or below the stave or on either the lines or in between in the spaces. We can see here that we have first space, second space, third space, fourth space. When drawing our notes, Let's take the semi-brief as it's simply an oval. Each note on the line is placed with the line going exactly through the middle of each note. It covers half the space on either side of it. A space note occupies the whole space and not just some of it. Have a look at some of these examples. As you can see, the line note goes directly with the line through the middle and a space note fills up the entire space. Now, as I mentioned, some notes live beyond the five lines of the stave. If you think about it, a piano, for example, has 88 keys on it. We can't possibly fit all those notes onto the two stave that the piano uses. In this case, we need to go beyond the stave with our notes. To do this, we need to draw extra lines, like so. Always make sure that they're straight and they should be about the same distance from the stave as there is between each line of the stave, like I've done here. We then place the notes on these lines like so. We refer to these extra lines as ledger lines. Let's now look at notes other than the semi brief on the stave. All our other notes have tails on them, which we call stems. Which way should these stems face? Let's take a look. Notes that occupy the first three lines of the stave should all have stems pointing up on the right hand side, like so. Notes that appear on the middle or third line can face either way. You choose. After the middle line, all stems must face down and go on the left hand side of the note, like so. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule, but we will come to these when we look at groupings of notes later. One other thing to note is that when drawing a quaver, the flag on its stem, if you're drawing one on its own, will always appear on the right hand side of the stem, like so. It's important to draw notes accurately and neatly, as this makes things easier for others to read and makes for less mistakes. Always draw in pencil, as mistakes can be erased. This concludes our topic of notes on the stave. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, where you will find various other videos to help you on your musical journey. Thank you.